I invite you to turn in your Bibles uh, to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, it's page 731 of the Hugh Bibles, page 731 of Luke, chapter 17. And we're going to begin this morning with a story that starts in verse 11. Luke chapter 17, verse 11, page 731. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. Let me show you exactly where Jesus is. This is the land of the Bible in the time of Christ. And you see the circle at the top, that's Galilee. That's where he started this long zigzag journey we've been on with him. And Samaria is the smaller circle, circle at the southern end of the map. Luke, uh, by giving us the geography, reminds us that Jesus is still winding very slowly toward Jerusalem uh, as he continues to teach his disciples how to be disciples. Now remember that Luke is writing in a culture without land maps, uh, without a GPS, without Google Maps, without MapQuest, and Jesus, as we catch up with him today, finds himself walking across the dangerous border between Galilee and Samaria. Now, as you and I know, Jesus was never one to live out of fear or to act cautiously, and so as we catch up with Jesus today, we find him on the border of enemy territory. Now don't forget what we learned in the parable of the Good Samaritan. Don't forget about the hatred and the, the distrust between the Jewish people and the Gentile people, the Samaritans who live in Samaria. Uh, Jews don't like Samaritans for two primary reasons, as you might recall. Reason number one, the Samaritans defected religiously. So the Jewish people view the Samaritans as heretics because they defected. They, in fact, even built their own temple, a Samaritan temple, somewhere other than in the city of Jerusalem. And in fact, their Samaritan temple competed with the temple in Jerusalem. Reason number two why the Jews don't like the Samaritans is that the Samaritans intermarry with foreigners who serve foreign gods, and the distrust and the hostility between Jews and Samaritans at the time of Christ goes back some 500 years. Uh, this bad blood has existed between these two ethnic groups. Well, in this true story before us today, uh, Jesus continues to give lessons in discipleship. That's what we're learning as we follow Jesus, as we started in Luke 9, and as we continue on this journey, we're learning how to be better disciples of Jesus. And so once again, today for us, Jesus answers the question, how does a disciple of Jesus live? Verse 12 in your Bible. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. And so Jesus uh, invites us this morning to follow him into a village, but we don't know whether it's a Samaritan village or a Jewish village. The Bible doesn't tell us. If it's a Jewish village, as Jesus walks in, he can relax, let his guard down, go off duty because he's going to be around his people. If it's a Samaritan village, Jesus is asking for trouble because he's on Samaritan turf. So Jesus, he comes walking into the village and ten men, you can see in your Bibles, appear from the shadows. And the ten men look something like this. We 
We start with 10 men. They have the worst disease of their day. And the disease is believed to have no medical remedy. The disease 